In this video, we're going to focus on one of the other options, which is the get pixel for value in plugin for Chart.js. And this one, I don't use that much. I personally would not recommend you to use this often. I would say go for the other one, which I discussed in the previous video, which was getting the pixel for ticks. And the reason why is with the tick, you will get the specific tick here. While with the value, what you have here, the get pixel for value, this will be based only on the value, meaning the following here, and I will show you as well. We are going to talk about value, that will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc, etc. And that has not that much benefit compared to the ticks. All right, so let's start and explore this one. So first of all, let's go back here. And we have this here so far, we have two options here now. And let's say we have this one here. We're going to get the pixel for value. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace basically the red danger area with our new get pixel for value. But we will leave this intact here. This is the danger area. So we're going to grab this, get pixel for value, paste it over the tick for tick, and same here. And once we do this and save that, pay attention here what will happen now instead of this we're going to go to number three, which would be here one, two, uh, or zero, one, two, three. So probably it won't be in here. So refresh, and as you can see here now, it goes in here. This here is not that practical, and the reason why is let's say this here. Let's make this 100. And if I save this now and change, you can see here now what is happening at the very bottom. You have this very narrow line. And this might be fine depending on your situation. However, most of the time, if this is starting to intensify or increase, this line here goes down. So this is why I always recommend to use the get pixel for tick here instead, because the tick will be relative to your values. Well, this one is almost absolute, or basically, sorry, not this one, but the get pixel for value is an absolute value. If you go in here, as you can see, this is fine. And if I go up here now, let's say I make it 1000, save that. See what happened? It jumps up to 300, which is probably what you want. So you have a scalable chart or uh, area here to highlight. This is a far more common way that you prefer to do it. Or at least for me, this is one of the most common options I have. With the other one, it is possible, but you have to build a formula around it where you get a certain value to calculate. This makes far more sense. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.